Hey everybody. In this fun video, I'm going to show you how to turn your glass in this adorable Halloween themed potion set with little labels into cut glass very simply. You're going to love this whole idea because it'll let you take all the plain bottles and jars you have in your stamp collection and give them a little fancy crystal look. So to start this project out, I did stamp and cut out masks for each of these jars. That's really important if you want to finish the card the way that I'm going to finish the card. These are such simple shapes. It's very easy to cut out these masks and you will need masks for all of them. You'll see that I did repeat the tall bottle. So you will want to cut that one out of masking paper twice. And I've just made it so certain bottles are in front of certain other bottles to create kind of a little shelf scene for this fun, bright, and happy Halloween card. Now I have my Olo markers here and the alcohol marker coloring that I'm doing here is very simple. I'm really not shading anything. The whole purpose of this coloring exercise is to create the cut glass effect. So I'm just going to fill in the jars with different colored potions and I won't be doing any significant shading or accenting. This is a super simple coloring project. Now I am making each jar a different color and a little bit later on I'm going to show you how it's important to know which bottle is which color <laughs> when you get to the masking part because I will also be doing a little bit of ink blending. So I sort of chose the Ola Marker colors to be my brightest pink, yellow, blue, and green to match some neon ink I will be putting on. And these matched perfectly and this is such a quick and easy coloring job. So once those have their liquid in them, what I did was just picked out of my favorite colored pencil set a shade darker than each liquid potion that I colored. So on this one, I'm just taking a darker pink pencil and I'm creating just little vertical hash marks. And I'm putting them so that they'll sort of be around the label for the jar so that you'll see that cut glass detail like you might see in a crystal whiskey bottle or that kind of thing, a crystal decanter. This is just a super simple way to get that done with these little marks. They can really be anywhere on the bottle that you want. I just decided to do these sort of half moon shapes around what's going to be the labels on the jars. So here on this one that's sort of sitting sideways, I'm just going to do the same thing, but it'll be just in a portion of the liquid because that's really the only place that you would see it. And then once again, just repeat exactly what I did for this same bottle with a darker blue. And this is such a fun and easy way to add detail. Again, the hybrid coloring that you know I love, mixing markers and pencils. Now to create the highlight, I just use a white pencil and I go on one side of the little marks, the little glass marks. So you can go on both sides, you can stick to one side. You can also add little highlights like you see me doing here to just the glass itself to give it more of even that illusion of being a shiny surface. Now on the yellow one, it's going to be a little bit harder to see that white. Since it is a pencil and not a paint pen, it's not really going to pop like a paint pen would pop, but I find this softer look to be really appealing. So I'll do the same on the rose colored one. And then finally on the green. Now you can use, I'm using the same pencil for my set. If you have another white pencil that you love, I tend to buy numerous white pencils in various different brands because I find some of them behave kind of differently brand to brand for different things. So if you buy from a place that has open stock, 
the place that I will link you to does have open stock, then throw a couple extra white pencils into your basket. When you go shopping for colored pencils, you will not regret it. The white colored pencil is your most versatile colored pencil and can be used for the most things. So there are your little cut glass bottles all ready for the labels. And I'm just going to kind of line these up and see what fits where on these labels. And I will stamp these and die cut them. That little crow's foot is too cute. I'm obsessed with crows. I don't know if you know this. I've been trying for two years to train a crow to come get things from me and then come bring me things it hasn't happened yet like it happens to everyone on YouTube so I'm still working on it someday I'll bring you a video of my special pet crow but until that time I will be using Halloween stamps so there you go now I will ink these up in black ink and stamp them and die cut them out. They have really nice close cutting dies. So you're not gonna get a bunch of extra space on your label. Look at the rat tails. That's so cute. And goblin eyes. <laughs> I picked that one on purpose. I love Halloween. I wish Halloween lasted four months, but it doesn't. Okay, the dies for these are easy to match up. They have very unique shapes and you'll be able to pick those out really quickly. I am using my Easy C tape to tape these down. I will be coloring these labels, just antiquing them a tiny bit so that they're not bright white, and I'll show you how I do that. So once they are die cut, I will remove them from the dies and figure out which went where on which bottle. Now on this one, I'm actually going to cut a little bit out so that that other jar will still stay in front of the back jar and the label. So, and that's easy to do with the masks. You just pop the mask down there and trace it onto the label where you want it, and then just cut it out. So I'll take just a kind of an ivory marker and age these just a little bit. It just seemed like the right thing to do. If you have, you know, the cask of Amontillado down in your um, basement where you keep your raven and your telltale heart, it just seems fitting that the labels would be a bit aged. So that's easy to do with an ivory marker. So that is the layout that I've chosen. And like I said, this little guy is going to get temporarily adhered to the label while I trace with the mask. See, put the mask in place, trace that with the pencil. I love mechanical pencils too. That's another thing I'm kind of obsessed with. I have more than any human should have. And then I am putting this back down as well and tracing out that little piece and then I'll just hand cut those out and that will let me arrange that label so it looks like those two bottles are in front. So there you go. Now see it looks perfect. Looks like those two Bottles are in the right place and the labels in the right place. Easy to do. Kind of a fun little 3D effect that you can get by doing that. And then I will just add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of these other labels and put them on the jars. And you can see how you can still see the cut glass all around the edges of those labels. So now I want to re-mask them. And sorry, I was wearing a baseball cap when I was filming this. And it's getting in the way down in the lower left every now and then. I don't normally film with a hat on, but I must have been out running around doing something in the yard before I did this. So 
Now on top of the mass, you want to write the color that's underneath because you're not going to be able to see that when you're doing your ink blending. So I just quickly scribbled the color on there so that I could get the little miasma that I'm going to create around each bottle the proper color. So these are neon inks. They're really matched perfectly to my markers. And so every bottle will have its little glow. And it's very subtle. I'm sort of getting the ink off on my glass mat before going on to the paper just so that I can keep the miasma pretty subtle. So make sure if you have a scrap piece of paper nearby or a craft mat that you get that first little bit of ink off so that one isn't too much brighter than the other. But this is just kind of a fun, spooky Halloween effect that you can have with these bottles. And I think it's kind of fun. So now we are ready for the big reveal of what this is gonna look like with the miasma. But first you wanna clean up all the extra ink on your desk because you will ruin your card if you're like me, just by sticking your hand in that and then going to pick up your card. So don't be like me, clean your desk. And now you can see this is so fun. I love pulling masks off. Oh my gosh, so satisfying. So there they are, little glowing potion bottles. I added the sentiment and die cut it from the set. And head over to my blog for more information on this card. And thanks so much for watching.